Welcome back to my channel and to another Decorate With Me video. We're in my family room upstairs in my Swedish home and we're going to decorate in the modern cottage design trend that really is on the rise in the design world. Please give this a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the video and let's get started. So let's give you an overview of the room. So this white sofa we bought at Ikea. It's a sectional. I like it because it really is quite large. It fits just uh, the space here and I like to have it on it legs um, really because I can take away things that are underneath that because I had one from our flat before that was really low to the ground and it was really really difficult to keep clean so I really really like this sofa we've had it for about six years so that's staying uh, this ottoman I also bought at Ikea it is a storage ottoman so I've got some of my Christmas stuff there my blankets that I found at my school both of them and I I just bought the frame at a place called Rusta here with the passport two and I framed it and I put it up. I didn't have anything on here for a really, really long time. I just was trying to find something that I really wanted. We didn't want to have another big painting, uh, but this worked really well. It's very calming, very soothing, and I absolutely love it. I've got the TV. Um, we've got this open shelf and this unit that we've had for some time. We bought this unit as we moved in. This piece should really be sitting on there and then that uh, open shelf should really be uh, where the TV is up there so that this piece is there so it really was one small unit but what happened was when my brother-in-law bought the TV it was too big we took it over and then we had to move this piece onto the ground um, so I really want to see if I can work around this uh, make it sort of like a gallery wall that's the only option I've got a lamp going there I've got a few pieces I'm going to use there so let's see what I come up with I need to sort out this section I don't want to have all these remotes showing out here so that I have a solution for. And then we've got my carpets here. The carpets here are a dual carpet. This one is for my Kia. It's really uh, their jute carpet. They still have it. I'll try and link it for you. This one is an old carpet I bought also at a company called Mio where I bought the um, set from here. Um, so this is a double. I will change this out at some point, but for now it's going to stay. These two are sideboards that we had from our bed when we bought it um, uh, as we moved in here nine years ago. I was not about to put these two small side tables by my bed. That wouldn't have been enough, but we have them here. They're really versatile because I can move them around. I can put them over here for extra seating. We use them a lot for having our plates on if we eat upstairs or having snacks and all that. So it was really is a nice Thing. it's made out of four leather Just to show you can have pieces that match another piece of furniture but if you shift it around um, as you know I don't like having matching furniture but this works really really well here and then of course I've got my lamp here that's really uh, also from Mio it's just a simple black lamp with the green velvet shade the painting is one that my husband's aunt made it really is beautiful. Um, it goes really well with the cottage style. This is sort of driftwood she's used to frame the picture. Um, the birds are absolutely stunning. Uh, she's actually even taken the paint onto the driftwood, which is really, really lovely. Just wanted to give you an overview of all the things I'm working with here. Uh, these are some of the older things I've had. This is a new cushion. Um, this um, orchid is going up here from downstairs. I moved it from there. Um, they've got I've got some accessories this antique bowl uh, and then I'm going to just talk you through uh, all the pieces I'm going to be adding in uh, to this style while we start decorating this is what I'm working with I've got all this space and I've got this hook um, that we had uh, a antler on but I want to change things out a bit so I'm going to use this painting now this is also a painting that my uh, husband's aunt did her son actually has the bigger version of this painting it's so beautiful um, they're two side by side I absolutely love them but we're not going to get them so this is the closest I'm going to get she had some postcards made um, so I put them in a frame I bought a beautiful frame and I put it in the frame and I like to have it as well because it's got a lot of the green so I like to have it up here so we're going to try it over here 
we're trying to create the modern cottage vibe and that's going to be around for some time i think it's going to really take over and dominate the interior world for a few years now uh, i absolutely love it because i lived in england for 10 years and i love old furniture and i, I like that sort of feel and vibe so it's really really up my street so i'm really happy so let's see if this works here um, we're going to try and create this sort of collage over here but let's start with this shelf now ideally i would have liked the shelf going right along uh, to fill up the space really but this is what we have to work with so i'm going to just give this uh box here light wood box uh, a little height i have my angels here uh, my mum made these beautiful angels for christmas so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going, I go all out for Christmas. I'm going to show you how I decorate for Christmas. So I have them in this box just because they're so delicate um, and it works beautifully. And I'm just going to put it up here to give it a little bit of height. Um, then I'm going to, I feel like we need some green. This is something I bought at Ikea some time ago. Unfortunately, they don't make it. It's actually really, really beautiful. I think it's one of their more realistic plants. And then I've got a grey pot. Um, the modern cottage style uses a lot of muted colours, uh, whites and lots of light greys. So this works perfectly with it. So that's going to go over here. And then I've got these sort of silver um, candle stands. And I'm just going to add it over here. I like them because they've got two different heights. So they give you um, a really nice um, sort of difference in height. And as you can see, these ones I picked up, they're so beautiful. I picked them up at a place called Rusta. They are these battery operated lights. Um, they are on a timer. So really this beautiful uh, sage color that I have going on here. So I'm gonna use these here. And as you can see, it's just a very simple thing, but you can see it already is pulling everything together. Now, this is the lamp we're going to be using. I bought this a few years ago. I've had this upstairs here. It is a sort of clay, also in the sort of green color. Really lovely to have for the modern cottage vibe because you really want everything to be neutral and natural materials and really, really very organic, um, but also keep everything very cozy and very comforting. Uh, this lampshade uh, is an old lampshade from Ikea. Um, it's got this sort of uh, pleated edging, which really is all the rage. I've had it for years and years. I didn't like the lampshade that came with this um, base, or, and I used this and I really liked the oversized uh, look of it. Um, I've tried many other lampshades, but none of them work. So let's add this one over here. So because I didn't need any height, I'm gonna use my orchid here, uh, and it's very, very tall. I'm going to bring it here, I'll try it here, or I'll try it down there. Orchid, and as you can see, it looks perfect here it allows me to hide the wire and some of that it doesn't matter if you see it on the side and i'm just going to tuck everything in so it all looks very clean and tidy and neat i think for now i'm thinking these pieces look really really nice it looking very very pretty now i need to hide that and i need to hide those so let's do that next I've been looking at uh, all of these design companies and uh, Studio McGee and all. They've been using these sort of pedestals on a corner, really beautiful ones. I don't have one, but because considering this is sort of a block um, shape, I was wondering if I could put something here and create a small vignette, which would really camouflage this big uh, speaker that we have here for my kids who want to play. And when we watch movies, we like to have sound system. So let's get started with that. This, I was thinking, I've got this um, wooden um, antique bowl. This really is an antique bowl from up in the north. As you can see, it's really, really been used. Very, very beautiful bowl. I absolutely love it. Uh, I think it's going to look really pretty on here. So let's see. That was exactly the sort of look I was going for. So you can see, it just really creates a sort of um, nice moment there, unfortunately. I'm going to shift it around that and then I'm thinking I'm going to add this plant over here. Not quite sure I actually like the plant there, but I do have a vase. This vase from H&M, so let's see what that looks like. 
I think maybe that looks better. I don't know. Give me a comment. Should I keep this vase or should I put this one on here? I'm not sure. I'm a little. I think I've got the orchid, which is quite. I think I'm just gonna go for this vase in here. Maybe we can put some flowers there. Now it's time to address this section here. So my idea was that I would bring in a basket and see if I could fix everything into it. So let's do that. This is the basket. I love these sort of baskets. As you can see, it's got like a hole here. So I'm going to bring in the wire through there, I think. And then hopefully it won't show all the remotes and wires and it will really work as a nice little trick. idea is to bring this here ah, yes excellent so as you can see now I've got the basket here nothing really to pick that back on and then that just goes into the basket was such an easy easy fix as you can see it just goes straight into the basket we don't have to see it i'm not sure if you want to have the basket that way or you have the basket this way i don't know it doesn't really matter <laughs> really, really nice because i can just put this red one and these blue ones and this way my kids can have whatever color they want uh, i don't have to look at it which is really really great um, and it's going to cover everything up so i'm just going to see if i can put this one on to charge so there you go there that one's there and then let's see i had one more here this sort of army and it's so great because now i have a specific place where they can be charged in here in the basket and when i'm sitting watching tv i can't see a thing i'm really really thrilled with this little fix here let's see if we can change it and get ourselves a fireplace going on there you go we've got our fireplace going on here i don't have a fireplace but this works just as well i absolutely love it so let's keep this going and swivel around and start decorating a few more areas. So this is the next area I want to tackle. Um, over here, I want to have, don't want to have a chair here and I don't want to have too much. It should really be quite easy for me to, to, to take away because I always have my Christmas tree up here. Um, so I don't like to have too much going on here. My Christmas tree is quite large. So let's see, I've got some baskets here. I'm going to bring them in. These two baskets, which I think are really, really beautiful. I like them that they're not, um, too heavy they're really really light in the style so i'm going to take the bigger one over here and then there is a smaller one unfortunately these ones are breaking as you can see i've got a hole here so i'm trying to be really really careful they're quite delicate i bought them at a place called chili here in um sweden but i absolutely love them and i'm hoping i've had them for a few years so i'm hoping they're going to last although they're just two baskets i want to create a sort of a table here that i can put them on the plot so i have a little hat for you i found this stool at uh, my school we were going to throw it away so i'm just going to add this one into the basket like that it's not a hundred percent stable but as you can see it looks really pretty in there, it doesn't really show because it's the same color. What it allow me to do is put a plant on top. So I can have either this one and have that one open or I could have one over here. Found these at the dollar store in the spring. They're really pretty, um, they were, not very very cheap but i think they have got it back here again in sweden so if anybody here in sweden is interested uh you can go to the dollar store and have a look i'm hoping they still have it but that looks really really pretty very countryish i've got this basket now this is from ikea it is uh, a woven basket um it really is for a pot um for a um, outside pot uh but i'm using this as a bin for my room up here so that everything is uh, cohesive so i'm just going to put that in the corner there so let's start decorating the ottoman uh, it really is um a very simple simple ottoman i'm going to try and see if i can bring in a little bit of green over there or really to keep it simple i'm just going to put in a tray we've got this tray here that i really really love 
so this one's just gonna go in there got some of my vintage books here that I got from up in the north of Sweden they're really really pretty I like the binding uh, it's so so lovely um, so I've got a few of these um, so I'm just gonna lift them over there and then I'm just going to get this candle and put it there because we don't want anything sort of taking away from our view of the TV so I think that's just going to be beautiful. I might add in a little bit of greenery there. For the sofa, I'm gonna be using this really lovely sheepskin. It's quite large. My husband and I bought it when we moved into the flat. So because my sofa is a white sofa and the kids like to have their friends up here and all, I do like to put on my throw uh, just to cover it so that it doesn't get dirty and I don't have to wash it regularly. It is a white sofa, everyone thought I was mad when I got it, uh, but we do wash it maybe twice or thrice a year. Um, so let's do that first and then we can get decorating with some pillows. For this modern cottage look, I think it's really nice to mix a few patterns uh, and a few stripes as well as bring in some florals. Now florals are a really big part of the modern cottage um, look, um, so I've got a couple of cushions that I'm going to try out um, that are new, um, and, but I'm going to be using these sort of older striped ones uh, that I've had. I have a, a few options here. I've got this sort of botanical print one, uh, keeps everything very green here, but then I got this really pretty muted coloured um, cushion. I really love this, so I'm not sure um, if I'm what I'm going to use. I think I'm going to end up using this one over here, and then this one probably would go onto the single chair in the corner. If you've heard of it, nobody is chopping their pillows anymore. It's supposed to just have a sort of very relaxed um, feel chop a little bit but not the way we were doing a few years ago so I uh, am happy with that because that's a little less work for me to do um, and I'm going to do the green here but as you can see I could use the green there but I think it's just too matchy matchy with the green um, the shade as well as the wreath so I think this floral pattern is going to do the trick yes um, so that really is very very pretty it's just bringing in this sort of old cottage of vibe of, but in a sort of a very modern subtle way so i really like that there but i need to have something over here i have a throw that i'm going to do um, over there but then this one is going to go on the single chair that I have it is a beautiful very subtle print I bought a few of them because I really like them for outdoors but I thought it would work really well inside as well Thank you so much for joining me today i hope this video has been helpful if it has please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel because next week we're heading on, on to ikea we're going to look at their kitchen section and i'm going to show you all the high-end looking pieces they have that you really should have in your own kitchen so don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next week Bye bye